Well, you can never really fully achieve autonomy with a, a sailboat yet, uh, just because of a sailor's instincts. But this boat, it has winches to control um, how, how far out the sails are. Um, and it also has a servo to control the rudder. Basically anything that a sailor would do, um, we've got a servo or a winch to do the same thing. I don't want to put the sail on until we have a keel. Some of the ways this is different than a, a larger sailboat is um, since it's so small, we have the opportunity to have a longer keel, uh, which gives us, generally lets us have a larger sail uh, so we can go faster with a smaller boat. There's a lot of applications for um, like scientific research. Uh, that way you could have a boat out and it'd be fully autonomous and then fully um, self-powered, maybe like solar panels for uh, all the electronic needs. We have a remote control and we have the ability to change it from the remote control between autonomous and radio control modes. So we're going to put it in the duck pond in RC mode, sail it out here and put it in autonomous mode. We're going to see what it does for a little while and then we can sail it back under radio mode. The boat should be able to tack, the boat should be able to jive, the boat will determine the point of sail and it will maneuver itself to stay on whatever heading it determines it should be on. Uh, the heading is just the course that the, the boat is taking, um, so that's really important if you want to um, not run into anything and just make it around the different obstacles. Just getting the GPS to talk to our microcontroller, getting our microcontroller to actuate our servos, getting all the low-level hardware to work has proven to, been a, to have been a challenge. I'm the captain of the whole team, so we were planning the actual shape of the hole, trying to optimize that to get the least resistance. And that was the biggest challenge because uh, not many people on, on the whole team, at least, have that much experience in carbon fiber. Uh, but in the end, we resulted in a hole that floats, which is good.